Hey, greetings, YouTube Performance Reviews here, where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. For a reminder, we have new videos every Wednesday and weekend. Click that bell notification so you don't miss any of our new content. And also consider checking out the links below. There's some great ways to support the channel, including a link to this vacuum. And today we have an unboxing of a Hoover Tempo, which is largely the same as the Hoover Wind Tunnel Max. There's also a commercial variant of this. If you're looking for a machine that's not going to break the bank, that's lightweight and has a height adjustment if you have higher pile carpet. This is really one of the only options out there. I reviewed uh, its bigger brother uh, a couple years back and I really liked it. I thought it was a good budget option. So let's see if this still stacks up. So today we're going to unbox this, assemble it, and give you my first impressions. Well, let's open the top of this and see what we got here. Uh, well, actually, that's really nice right away. They give you a packing list right here that tells you what's in the box. Uh, turbo tool. I didn't know it came with the turbo tool, so that's kind of cool. They have a packing list there. And, of course, they're going to ask you to follow them on social media. Eh, kind of sick of companies <laughs> begging us to do that. Um, so, you got the handle. And is the screw attached? Uh, I'll have to find the screw later. So, we got the handle. Ah, the screw is right here attached to the machine. It's interesting that the cover is separate. Oh, and they have a HEPA bag pre-installed, which I really like. And if you're not aware, this is a bagged vacuum, so you don't have to deal with the hassle of a bagless machine. And Hoover Y bags are some of the least expensive HEPA bags available. So it's nice to see that they included one. And you can see it's got a nice little dock, so that you can just slide this in and load that. That's kind of nice. Set that aside. Let's keep going and see what we got. Oh, we got more bags. So if you have a small child who could choke on bags, keep them away from this while you're unboxing. So it looks like the turbo tool and the dusting brush and the manual. And the cord. And that's what's in the box. Now in typical TTI fashion, they've used minimum packing material. They typically just use cardboard like this on their products. And I've been around Hoover long enough to remember when they didn't do this and they were owned by a different manufacturer, but that's the way it is. So if your machine comes with like a scrape or something on it, that's why there's not a lot of packing material here. Well, that's what comes in the box if you're curious. Now, if you have yourself a Phillips screwdriver, you're gonna need it. There is some assembly required, though it's fairly simple. And they have a nice little flag here to do that. So this screw just comes out, set that aside, then your handle slides in, and then I guess we're gonna have to rotate that out of the way. And this is just gonna go in here. There we go. These are fine machine screws. And apply a medium amount of torque on there, and that's really the assembly that has to be done in terms of tools. Just tuck your hose in out of the way, or tuck the cord in out of the way first. Take the cord. So the cord clips up here. So the cord clips up here, out of the way, and then we're just gonna take our hose right there. And now we'll undo our cord bundle. Then their cord hook is down here and up here. And it's nice there's a quick uh, release cord hook. There was a while when that wasn't a standard feature on most vacuums, especially not in this price range. I'd just like to focus your attention right here. The dusting brush kind of sits in this little right there. So that's where the dusting brush sits. Now for the rest of this, make sure your bag's on here and take your bag and just make sure it's tucked in there, not caught on the edge. That just clips in there. This gap is normal here. The gasket is actually right here. So that gap is just kind of for show or how they made it. So don't be too concerned about that. You take your tool holder here and make sure this is facing up. And this is just gonna clip in place. Once it's in place, it's actually really solid. So take our turbo tool. That just goes there and we're all done. Well, let's talk about the operating controls and what's here. So you have your hard floor carpet switch here. We have a height adjustment. Um, 
right here, which is a welcome feature of a machine at this price point. And then the on and off switch is actually at your fingertips, which again is surprising for this price point. Now we go to the back. I mentioned this earlier, but there's a quick release cord, which puts the cord in your hand, so you can then take it and plug it in. Also mentioned there's a foot pedal release back here. Now there is a full bag chuck indicator right here. You see it's green and the green on the turquoise color is kind of hard to see at first. And it even works here at my high altitude, which is even more impressive. Let's talk about the included accessories because they do give you the basics. The first thing I want to talk about is the wand situation. Uh, why that is enough to get in basic areas. If you have a lot of above the floor cleaning or just under cleaning, you might want to buy an additional wand. And again, the price of this in the budget category, I think that's just fine. Uh, and you can get wands uh, inexpensively enough. The dusting brush, it's not too hard, but it's nothing to write home about. And the bristles could definitely be longer. Again, one of the corners they did cut in this price point. Now, one thing they did give you is they just skipped a regular upholstery tool and gave you a turbo tool. And oddly enough, this turbo tool does spin up and work, so I'm happy about that. This doesn't have quick access to it like some of the ones in the past, but you can get to it with a screwdriver. And it being clear, you can see if something gets stuck in there. So I think the fact they gave you the important tool that you're probably going to use most, especially if you have pet hair, I really like that. So this lives up to the Tempo name, in my opinion, just giving it a first look in being one of the best values you can buy in terms of vacuum cleaners. The stretch hose has been diverted to a lower setting, so when you pull the machine along, it kind of follows you like an awkward canister. So what that means is, unlike Hoover's of the past, when you pull it like this, the machine's not gonna fall over. As you can see, the stretch hose is really long, I think it stretches out to almost about 10 feet. It's ridiculous for an upright. As always on performance reviews, we're gonna test the working vacuum and the sealed vacuum. This is a quick way to see how this vacuum compares suction-wise to other machines. Very, very good. Uh, I'd say that compares with a lot of high-end machines. I got about 41, 42, just like the last Hoover I tested, and I got about 69, 70 uh, in terms of sealed. So excellent numbers. What I really like is how easy it is to get the base plate off. You just move this red switch, and then this red switch, you can get to anything you need in here, which is makes brush roller changing, pulling hair out, if you sucked up something you shouldn't, you can get to it. The belt is a long life belt, so that's a nice feature as well. It just kind of goes. Get that, give it a turn. All that is easy to assemble and disassemble. I want to give you a quick guide into setting the height adjustment. You notice I've put a line of salt in front of the vacuum. Don't confuse it with any other thing. Um, there's a height adjustment here, and it goes from high, medium, low, and setting this right to your carpet is essential. So what you wanna do is go in the highest setting. And you notice when I found the sweet spot, the salt started to vibrate into the machine. So I know that my carpet is going to be this setting right here. Not the highest setting, the second highest setting. And you saw when I brought it too low, the vacuum didn't clean better. It actually stopped moving the salt into the machine. So this is a quick way that you can adjust your machine to your carpet and you can see it with a visual aid. I hope this helps you uh, adjust your machine right because once this machine's adjusted, This machine sure does clean well. Mess with the adjustment, get it just right for your carpet. Being able to shut the brush roller off right here with this foot control to do hard floors 
is a welcome feature on a machine in this price point. I would encourage all of you to stay tuned for my full review on this machine. I typically test machines for one to two months at a time before I give you a full review. I did do a full review on its bigger brother, so I'll put a link in the end card here for you to watch. Also, big thank you to Hoover for sending this to me to review. Now, Hoover reached out to me after seeing me post on Reddit and seeing some of my previous videos and offered to send me machines of my choice to review. So, of course, I did jump on them sending me one of these to review because, again, I thought it was one of the better values out there, being one of the last bagged uprights that you can buy in the sub $500 range. So, again, big thank you to Hoover. Big thank you to our Patreons who help make our camera equipment and stuff like this possible. And even though Hoover sent this to me, that's not going to change my opinion of my review. As you know, there's been plenty of other products sent to me and gotten horrible reviews. Give this video a thumbs up. Consider following us on one of our other platforms. Hit that bell notification so you don't miss our latest content, which is usually released on Wednesdays and the weekend. And have yourself a wonderful day.